So here at the uh, QC lab at Moist Lubricants in Shrewsbury, Sounds and we're sound. looking at an ICP. So that stands for inductively ICP. coupled plasma. Okay, you can actually see the plasma flame if you look in there. Inductively coupled plasma. Yeah, well that's ICP. at working temperature, that's about 6,000 degrees centigrade, so that's pretty warm in there. And we use this piece of equipment for elemental analysis. So when we talk about raw materials and chemistry, okay, well, so all that chemistry, they're compounds of some description. That could be zinc compounds, calcium compounds, um, different elements obviously in all these different compounds that we use. Now if we can measure the level of those elements in that oil sample, we can ensure from a quality control perspective that the correct amount of additive system has gone into that blend, okay. into the product. Um, but this is only forms part of a whole picture. I mean, we can get elemental analysis off this, but it doesn't tell us how thick or how thin the oil is. Uh, it doesn't tell us what the high temperature, high shear capabilities are. It doesn't tell us what it's cold cranking. But it's just so telling you what the oil's made up of. Yeah, so this is a very important test for us from a quality control point of view to make sure we are blending correctly. Right, and okay. And that finished okay. product is suitable for its intended use. Go on, how's it work? Um, so, so that a nebulizer takes oil and basically atomizes it into the plasma stream. Right, okay. And yep. that, those temperatures, it breaks it all down into it, individ, individual atoms. I'm surprised, 6,000 degrees by yeah. that breaking down. And you're, you're basically measuring those levels of elements by breaking down the, the, the compounds used in that formulation. Right. And measuring their levels. And like all the equipment we use in the, in the laboratory, we have to put calibration standards through to make sure we're getting an accurate reading. An accurate figure. So once that's done and we get a figure for say zinc or calcium or phosphorus then we can look at our QC records to make sure that is the correct level for that particular product. Mm -hmm. So critical QC check to make sure everything is going together correctly.